See that board up there at the cupola? Well, today it's gonna get swapped out for the final window. We got this today, right? Allegedly. <laughs> we'll see. Purportedly. All of the above. This Most nice. definitely. Not very optimistic today. First things first, the window opening is not the proper size just yet. That FTP is now... CTP. Yes. Do we need to tell them what CTP stands for? Current trippy problem. <laughs> we have a lot of problems. <laughs> True. Ah, I see you're using our tie down now. Yeah. Nice. Safety third. That's good. You're getting there. There it goes. Our original sill is flat. It's level. Level, thank you. <laughs> so we've already ripped a separate piece to instill a slight angle for the window so that if any water hits, it's going to drain outward. Next up, the DuPont Flex Wrap. The window is prepped. This is a Marvin window, just like the other four that are already installed. The main difference today is that for these first four windows, we had helpers, strong helpers. Ones that could lift and love. <laughs> this time, we're gonna do it, just the two of us. The wimpy way. Here we go. Okay. The window's in. Now it just needs a lot of nails. A lot of nails. That looks much better than a, a piece of plywood. The window even works. Ooh, there it goes. There. Ah, perfect. Definitely. It was my left arm. You hold that. <laughs> Zip tape is going on. All done. Okay, I think we just have to test one more thing. We gotta make sure it locks. Yep, it locks great. <laughs> you are very trusting. <laughs> I knew it was coming when it was too late. Bye-bye. <laughs> we are up in the cupola today. <laughs> well, I am. He's on his way, as you can see and hear. Hello! <laughs> Brian has arrived. Lord of the Flies I'm up just here. thinking the same thing. Oh my goodness. Jeepers. Today, after we evict the flies, whew, just blew across my face. We're going to start filling in those gaps in the soffits to get ready for spray foam. We are a non-ventilated dome, so... These get sealed up. How are you gonna seal them up? Well, I'm assuming that the cardboard is not sufficient. No, that will have to come down. I'm gonna cut the pieces, bring them from the inside, and hopefully screw them in, I don't know. And then the spray foam will just spray on top of that wood. Yes. I'll take your word that that's right. I'm going with you. Okay, have fun. Don't spend too much time looking out our windows. Cupolas are cool. <laughs> they really are. I like it up here. I see boards. Yes, all pre-cut and ready to go. Excellent, so you can take them up there and get to work. Have fun. New day. 
We are up in the cupola again. Ta-da! What'd you get done yesterday? I got most of the soffit blockers up. Um, got all that I can anyway until I do my security camera wires and then I can finish the job. Okay, that's good progress. Yep. Today, we are wiring the cupola with ethernet for security cameras and finishing soffits. So the wire is gonna go from there. Up, 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 up. No, it's not up, 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 it's up. <laughs> to there. We have work to do. Wire away. First level is the easy one. After that, you've got to figure out how to get it all the way up there. I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, this is not gonna work. You have a plan? It didn't really work. Conduit up to the cupola, and then what? Push this through. It's taking a minute, but. I am up in the cupola. I'm gonna try pulling this cable. You got a plan, it's working. <laughs> it ain't the brightest, but it's working. I now have cable. You got one cable. What do you mean one cable? We got three, no, two more to go. Oh, <laughs> we have to do this three times? Yep. Oh, fun. The first cable is officially cut. We're not totally sure where the network switch is gonna be, so we made it a little bit long and we're probably gonna waste a little bit, but it's the best we can do right now. I feel like we should mention the uh, elephant in the room. The concrete gets, it looks like it's wet, only in certain areas, but it's all the areas that just got torrentially rained on over the last year before we dried in. It was dry when I came in, opened up the windows and the doors, and now it's all wet. Now so it looks like this. It's got to be moisture in the concrete that's coming up and out. Hydrostatic pressure, yep. that's my guess. Uh, so if we have any concrete experts out there, feel free to chime in and tell us if this is something we have to worry about or with time, the water is going to finish evaporating through the concrete. That'd be great. Appreciate it. <laughs> Time for round two. This will go quicker. We got a pad. Time to call you monkey again. <laughs> Don't follow suit. The cable's all pulled, for now at least, so that means your next step is... I gotta drill some holes, put the cable through it, and move on to the next thing. That's all you! I hear you've made progress, but what I really want to do is... Oh my! <laughs> there's a turkey walking across the... Oh, there's two of them! I did not expect that. Okay, now that you've been <laughs> old look at the kitty. I've been old look at the turkey. Okay, where was I? <laughs> yes, I hear that you have made progress up in the cupola. I have finished my tasks. Want to give a show and tell? Sure. Up we go. Ta-da! I won't be able to see too much, but where it goes snaked behind the pillars. I can't remember what these are called. And just threw a hole into the like, soffit backing. This one has two, because it's my backup. Two is one, one is none. I really probably should do more, but if one breaks, I'll just put a hub in. Wire is expensive. Yeah. And you can see a good shot of the soffit blockers. Yep, all completed. Everything looks really good up here. Next up, 
we need to get the rest of the house ready for spray foam. So what's up next? We have to do the electrical penetrations. And plumbing. And plumbing. Stay tuned while we put a few more holes in our new house. Yeah. <laughs> in the meantime, thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, we'd really appreciate it if you would take a second and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. And until next time, like our farm sign says, just keep growing.